This is Stop Fake, the place where we debunk disinformation and set the record straight on fakes about Ukraine. I'm Marco Supran, and this week we dissect the following. No evidence of Russian involvement in the MH17 crash, an Italian journalist missing in the Donbass, and food prices rise 500% under Poroshenko's presidency. So let's get to it. Russian propagandist media are once again circulating new fakes about Malaysian Airlines flight MH17, which was shot down over Russian separatist-controlled eastern Ukraine in July 2014, killing all passengers and crew on board. This time, Russia's Deputy Prosecutor General Nikolai Vinichenko told the pro-Kremlin news service RIA Novosti that, quote, no evidence of Russian involvement in the MH17 tragedy has been provided. Now, international investigations conducted over the past years have repeatedly concluded that the plane was shot down by by a Russian Buk missile most likely fired by regular Russian military or Moscow-trained separatists. In a May 25, 2018 statement, the governments of the Netherlands and Australia called on Russia to accept responsibility for the downing of MH17 as their involvement had been proven. Quote, the Netherlands and Australia are now convinced that Russia is responsible for the deployment of the Buk installation that was used to down MH17. The government is now taking the next step by formally holding Russia accountable. The governments of both countries refer to the joint investigative team report comprising authorities from Australia, Belgium, Malaysia, the Netherlands and Ukraine about the crash which concludes that the missile that shot down MH17 came from Russia's 53rd Aircraft Missile Brigade based in Kursk. The investigative journalist organization Bellingcat traced the serial number of the Buk missile to show that it belonged to the Kursk Brigade arsenal. The U.S. State Department and British intelligence have confirmed the findings of the joint investigative team and Bellingcat. In its 2016-2017 annual report, the British Parliamentary Intelligence and Security Committee unequivocally asserts on page 52 that Russia's huge propaganda effort to persuade the world it did not shoot down the Malaysian airliner is an outright falsehood. Quote, we know beyond any reasonable doubt that the Russian military supplied and subsequently recovered the missile launcher which destroyed the airliner, the report reads. Using sophisticated digital technologies to analyze open source audio, visual data and recordings, Bellingcat says that it has conclusively identified the Russian officers who oversaw the movements of the Buk rocket launcher and were in charge of military operations when MH17 was shot down. Last December, the Luhansk newspaper Nasha Gazeta featured a story claiming that Italian photojournalist Roberto Trevan, who was working in the Donbass, had gone missing. Nasha Gazeta is the official newspaper of the occupied Luhansk city administration, and the publication claims that the self-proclaimed Luhansk People's Republic Prosecutor's Office had opened a criminal investigation into Trevan's disappearance. Various fake claims were spread that Trevan was always accompanied by Ukrainian security forces and had complained that they did not let him work, and that he was kidnapped because he was photographing things the Ukrainian army wanted to hide, and even that drunk Ukrainian soldiers killed him on New Year's Eve. But Roberto Trevan is alive and well. Stop Fake found him in his native Turin, where he told us that he returned to Italy on December 23, 2018, after finishing his photo project in the Donbass. When asked if he was pressured by the Ukrainian authorities or prevented from doing his job in any way, he laughed and said, of course not. Trevan has been to Ukraine several times to document the Maidan Revolution and the war in the East. He was embedded with the Italian army in Kosovo and Afghanistan and is currently following forgotten wars in frozen conflicts in Europe and Africa. Recently, one of Roberto Trevan's photographs won the Tokyo International Photo Awards in the editorial conflict category. The last site depicts Ukrainian gunner and senior sergeant Serhii Kopchenko, who was killed shortly after in April 2017 near Avdiivka. Trevan dedicated the award to Kopchenko's memory. All that the puppet Russian Luhansk prosecutor had to do was look Roberto Trevan up on Facebook to see that he was alive and well. A simple Google search and a bit of digging on the web would have led Zvezda and Ria Novosti and all the other hack journalists who disseminated this fake to Trevan's website and contacts, but that would have meant having to be a real journalist. Several Russian and Ukrainian publications disseminated fakes this week claiming that under the presidency of Petro Poroshenko, food prices rose 500%. They all cite a Facebook post by the director of the Ukrainian Association of Retail Suppliers, Oleksiy Doroshenko. Doroshenko cites price increases provided by Ukraine State Statistical Service, an organization that monitors prices and other economic indicators. His words, however, are taken completely out of context and distorted to create this fallacious claim. Doroshenko compares 
2018 food prices to those of 2014 and notes that they have risen from 58% to 542%. Russian and Ukrainian media latched on to the 542% and ignored everything else that Doroshenko wrote. According to official figures, over the last four years, the only commodity that has gotten cheaper is buckwheat, whose price went down 6%. The prices for other foods rose from 58% to 542%. The market basket of 23 products, which cost 450 hryvni in December 2014, cost 923 hryvni on average in December 2018, an increase of 105%. Of all the foodstuffs that Mr. Doroshenko refers to in his post, the only grocery item that grew by more than 500% is onions, whose price went from a bit over 3 hryvni a kilo in 2014 to nearly 17 hryvni in 2018. In today's conversion rates, that's an increase from 11 cents in 2014 to 61 cents in 2018 for a kilo of onions. Now, an honest report would also show whether or not wages increased during the same period and provide context. As an example, according to World Bank data for 2017, real wages increased by 19% due to the sharp increase in public sector wages. Overall, Doroshenko noted the price of groceries over the last four years grew by 105%. While that in itself is a rather steep increase, it is a far cry from the 500% claim that Russian media and some Ukrainian outfits too lazy to fact-check anything published. That's it for this week. Our video digest only presents a small amount of the fakes we debunk every week. You can find much more dissected disinformation on the Stop Fake website. Be vigilant, look out for fakes, and if you spot any disinformation about Ukraine, forward it to us for a truth autopsy. I'm Marco Supran, and this is Stop Fake. Thanks for watching.